It's finally here, the first test fit of the Pyramid PC, something we had intended to do literally months ago. We meticulously planned the placement of every part in this case to ensure that no space was being wasted, which was fine until Nvidia announced their 3000 series graphics cards and our client demanded that we switch to the RTX 3090. Now, this was rather annoying for several reasons. One, we had to return about $30,000 worth of last gen quadros. And also, the RTX 3090 is physically larger than any Founders Edition GPU that came before it and literally wouldn't fit into our pyramid case. I mean, clearly we figured it out, but the journey to get here has not been an easy one. Just like my journey to this segue to our sponsor. That's a good one. Protect your floors from your computer chair with Ruggable. Ruggable rugs are machine washable and stay in place with their non-slip pads. Use code Linus10 to get 10% off your order at the link below. Well, you hopefully just saw an intro with a mostly assembled pyramid PC, although we're very far from it right now. As you can probably tell, the workshop's mostly gone. So everything needs to be out of here by Monday. It's currently Thursday and I still have a lot to do. It's gonna be awesome. Like there's gonna be construction. We're finally gonna be able to use this big guy here and like the sandblaster. But anyway, it's, it's not gonna be very easy getting that all done by Tuesday. So yeah, do you wanna look at what we have to do? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, that looks awesome though. Our terrible customer is gonna love this. Yeah, it's uh, something else. The biggest thing we have to do are create these side panels here. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be super easy. I did these super cool fill patterns where it just automatically generates a bunch of holes for you. It's gonna take a while. Oh, and we're gonna do it twice. Yeah, we're gonna do that one twice. But plus... that's fine, because we can just put them on top of each other and go right through both of them, right? No, I'm we're, we're gonna do it twice. Yeah, no. Why is there a gigantic red button? Oh, the gigantic red button. So it's going to say overclock uh -huh. in really big letters yeah. across the bottom. But when you actually press it, it's just. This thing is going to glow like a beacon. Did you see what we're using for RGB in it? I did. Yeah, we're using these two Astera Helios tubes. <laughs> there. Oh it's going to be so God. awesome. Okay. It's going to kick off a lot of heat into the machine. <laughs> They're only like 27 watts each. Really? I checked. Yeah, I was kind of concerned about that. Okay. I guess we just do it now. Yeah, it's ready to go, for better or for worse. All right, not bad. Whoa, that looks awesome. I know. Let's see, can we just- Don't ruin it. I'm not gonna ruin it, I'm just picking it up. Yeah, I don't know if there's a cooler like computer side panel out there, really. So now what? Well, this needs to get attached to that. Right, somehow. So we need to make five standoffs for every single one of these. I've already been doing it a bit, but you get to make one of them. Oh, I have never used our lathe before. I paid a lot of money for it, so I guess uh, I should get to use it at least once, right? Yeah, well, for a lathe, you didn't spend very much money on it, but you know, same difference. Well, it felt like a lot of money. How much was this thing? It's like four grand. $4,000 is a lot of money. Not for a lathe. Look a at decent, this thing. You can buy a decent car. It looks heavy duty. It's very heavy duty. And old. And very old. It's from the 60s or something. The thing that we're making is just this. It could not be a simpler lathe part. Huh. And we can thread them like that and everything too, hey? Right? Yep. Can you thread them like that on the lathe or is that something you do after? No, you thread it like that on the lathe. Sweet. So for internal stuff, you just tap it like normal. But if you wanted to do, you can make literally any thread that you want on here. Like you can take, this right here is a thread cutting tool. And then using all of these numbers on the side, you're able to have it match the speed and the RPM to cut literally any thread that you want. All right, that's about an inch. Supposed to smoke? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So the nice thing about using this for tapping is that you don't really have to worry about breaking it because this right here is not holding it tight enough, like you don't have enough purchase on it. So it's kind of training wheels mode. Now just turn it on and thread it in, nice and slow. That's me. Well, these are the last scraps of our workshop over here. There's you now nothing left. It's 
all gone because construction is going to be happening here tomorrow. All of our machines are just out of commission for the next two months over here. But it's fine because I got everything done that I needed to over here and built a new workshop. But this is what we're working with for the next two months. So we've got like welder, laser cutter, bench grinder. Uh, I don't know, it's actually kind of nice. The sound's probably way better. There's just so much crap in here that you don't have, you know, all of the reverb. I actually kind of like it. It's nice and homey. Everything that you need is just right here and everything for the Pyramid PC is ready to be put on. Wow, this is a lot of progress. The panels look absolutely fantastic. My standoff is definitely the best one. Oh yeah, it's uh, probably one of these. Yeah, oh well, <laughs> I tried. These GPUs, if you kind of look at where they're placed. They're a little high. Yeah, they're a little bit high, angle's not quite right. So I'm kind of thinking we should, you know. Hey, in my defense, you didn't tell me there were gonna be standoffs here when I positioned it. This is on you. Also, it can't go there because if he decides to go with um, 3000 series, they're gonna be tall. We might have a bigger problem than we thought. They're gonna be tall. 3000 series is tall. Huh. It's not standard height. It's not standard height. Why is it not standard height? Well, because it's got over 10,000 CUDA cores. What do you want from me? Why can't you just use those GPUs that we bought him? Well, because there's a new one coming. And he's all like, eh, eh, my friend told me that there's a new faster one coming. I'm like, I told you there's a new faster one coming. But anyway, now he decided he wants the new one. So now what? Well, I'm thinking that we can kind of move it up here. We can notch out the plate that the GPUs are attached to, mm. drop them down a tiny bit. Sure. Like in order to get at them, you'll have to probably take off this panel. It'll be a bit of a pain, but. That's fine. User friendliness was never a factor in the design for me. Yeah, same. It's been a couple weeks since the NVIDIA RTX 3000 series announcement and well, you know, we still have two really big problems, but we have solutions for them right now at least. So this right here is an RTX 3090. It is friggin massive. For context, this is the size of the GPU that we were thinking would be going in this case and it's just in every single dimension way smaller. Who would have ever thought that like a Maxwell Titan would get dwarfed. <laughs> so we're going to have to cut out the GPU mount, place it back in in a completely new position, and kind of redo the PCIe risers to, you know, accommodate these absolute beasts. That's not a huge deal, but at the same time, these things draw just way too much power, like way more than they deserve to, really. So when we have two of them in SLI along with the Threadripper, I'm genuinely concerned that the 1300 watt power supply that we have in this won't be enough. The reason that's a huge problem is that 1600 watt power supplies like this one right here are just way longer. <laughs> so a normal one's 170 millimeters. This one I think is like 200 and change. And if you look here, doesn't fit. Not at all. So this would have been absolutely terrible, except Silverstone actually just released a short 1600 watt power supply that's only, I think 180 millimeters, which gives us, well, you know, the 170 millimeter standard one, we have about 10 millimeters of clearance. So we have about zero now, but at least it works. <laughs> well, now I get to do my absolute favorite thing in the world, redoing work I've already done. Oh, it's not getting much better than that. Before I put the GPUs in, I need to install the side panels so that I can, you know, make sure we're displaying them properly. In order to do that, I need like a good reference plane for everything to go off of. So I'm going to install the little casters that go on the bottom. Need some nuts that I'm gonna, you know, weld right on here. And then we can use just level as our reference point for all of, you know, the side panels to go off of. All right, I got the leveling feet on, and if you're wondering, these three corners here are all completely flat, and this one right here is a tenth of an inch higher, which honestly is way closer to square than I thought it would be. And we've got the side panels on here finally, and we can look at what it's actually going to be like. The whole thing's kind of scary, if I'm honest. Like, it's, it's a pretty intimidating machine. But anyway, Finally going to get to attach the side panels, so I have to tack on these little spacers here and just slowly massage the whole thing so that everything is just nice and square and perfect. It's 
you know, what's gonna really make it look nice and good. The one thing I can see right here is that like, this spacer needs to be just slightly shorter because there's a bit more weld behind it. I'm just tuning everything like that to give it that real like, nice, not Tesla look. I last saw this when we realized we were gonna have to change over to RTX 3000 series because new graphics cards launched and they didn't even support four-way configurations because of power restrictions. Oh yeah, so what I've done since then, this right here is the GPU mount. It's going back in, but in a different place fairly soon. Wow, yep, you removed that all right. But to make sure that it goes in the right spot, we need to have all of these side panels on there first. And this is kind of like the most crucial, it has to look good part. Right. It's pretty close, but not quite perfect at the moment. Yeah, I can see it's a little bit kind of that way right now. Yeah, the welds are bigger on this side and this side, so I've been having to trim these down just a tiny bit with the angle grinder. Got it. Good Lord, that is a lot of GPU. Yeah, are you ready for an absolute glute workout, Linus? Glute workout? Well, because of all the butt clenching that's going to happen when we test fit these. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is three grand worth of graphics card. Double that if you wanna use uh, eBay scalper prices. <laughs> this way, right? Yep, Holy that way. crap, this is really tight, dude. This might be a problem, legitimately. It doesn't so then, look good. How was it before? I'll show you. Kinda like that. That's not bad. It's gonna be really hard to get the graphics cards in though. Oh yeah, it's gonna be terrible. Yeah, like really hard. Well, that's why it's on its own little sliding thing. Like, this, sliding thing. this piece right here is supposed to just come out as one thing. You can take all of them out at once. I don't think we'll be, how will we slide it though? There's no sliding. Like, look. Well, maybe if you go with the other side. No, maybe. it's like, it's the same. Man, these cards are too big. Does anyone make a compact 390? <laughs> well, just bring it back here. Like, like right there. I think that's fine. Yeah, but it, look, it, they, you can't lift them out of the slots because of the bars. So? Wait, so you mean he'll just, once we weld it in place, he'll just never be able to remove the graphics? Or like we're gonna weld the no, graphics cards into the machine? we're not gonna weld the graphics cards into the machine. Cause that's what it sounds like you're suggesting. No, we can just take the power supply. Oh, wait, no, we can't. No, we can't. Uh, we could shave off some of the mounting plate. Yeah. Put a big old notch in there. Yeah. Lower the whole thing down about half an inch. Yeah. And then it still isn't really gonna fit, but it's gonna fit better than it does right now. Yeah. Okay. So I'm your pair of hands then to hold this in place while you do the real work. Pretty much, yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm also going to be holding it in while you look at it and make sure it looks good. Oh, I see. I actually think it looks pretty good right there. I actually think it looks pretty good right here too. Okay, I'll hold it. You go over there and then take a look. Okay. <laughs> Eyeballing the all-seeing eye. Ain't bad, actually. <laughs> oh, bolt. It's like, not bad at all. It's pretty close. Oh, heck yeah. This vacuum's the absolute best tool in the shop. It's weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Let's do it. This is the part where we find out if we can actually build the rig in here and if it's time to powder coat this mess for final assembly. Man, this is a heavy board. I haven't actually worked with Threadripper in a while because it sort of doesn't make sense with Ryzen 5000 around the corner. Not my problem. Yeah. The client gets what the client wants. 64 cores. You know what I just realized? Is that an extended ATX? Why? When we move the GPU mount, it might, it might interfere. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well. I don't even think it's close, man. Yeah. Okay, what are our options here? Are there any proper ATX Threadripper boards? I don't know. Let's go find out. Our other option is we can move the GPU mount. Oh! <laughs> Every single TRX-40 board we have is wider, like this. I mean, how much of this post do we really need? Like, could we cut away half of it so we can get the board in there? Well, we can just remove the whole thing and like move the post to be right up here in the corner. Mm -hmm. It's just like four or five hours of work. 
We did it. Thanks. That carve out looks phenomenal. Yeah, I almost feel like we should just leave it, but we, we shouldn't. I'm kind of tempted. <laughs> I've got our 64 core processor and our two terabyte 970 Evo plus SSD in here now. Yes, technically we could have gone with a gen four SSD or whatever by the time we actually freaking built this thing, but we already sourced this for it, so it's done. Well, actually we sourced no, it No, I'm not making any more changes. I love that we picked the tackiest RAM on earth for this machine. Wait. It's not that bad. Oh, I thought this was uh, Royale. It's the Neo. Oh, no, never mind. This stuff's sick. Okay. Yeah, that was friggin' expensive, too. It was like two grand. Wow. It's C16. 3200 C16, 32 gig modules. Oh, yeah. So that's a total of 256 gigs of RAM. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is so trippy. Come here. Wow. Come here. Wah. See this piece of foam? It's probably not very heavy, right? Okay, just grab it and pick it up. Just pick it up. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It doesn't seem like it should have such a strong suction effect. I know. I just, it's so cool. I got distracted Actually, there. Actually, uh, this packaging's pretty beautiful, but how thick is this right here? It's like about half an inch, doesn't it? Yeah, why? We need a half inch spacer for the back of the motherboard. Oh, we could just steal some foam from that. Yeah. I mean, he'll never see it. Yeah, it's pretty nice packaging. There we go. You think CA will destroy this? It should be okay. Not sure. I don't think it's gonna fit, but we're gonna try. It's worth a shot. It's kind of priceless. This is an Ice Giant Thermosiphon uh, prototype. And from our testing, it was actually the best performing air cooler possible for Threadripper. Oh, There's no man. way that's fitting. Well, hold on. Can you be a slightly more positive here, sir? Oh God, it's heavy. <laughs> okay, if those Wi-Fi nubbins are the only thing keeping this from going in, my anger level, Alex, so high. I think the Wi-Fi nubbins are keeping oh. it from going in. <laughs> Why? We can water cool it. Oh, f off. Yeah, I really don't want to water cool it. So I talked to Nicholas who did the video on the editor's rigs and you know, what can actually cool them. The U12S here, not great, but the U14S is good enough, and I believe it's going to fit just fine in our chassis, which is freaking awesome, because I was really scared there for a second, because uh, on the bottom panel, we have this kind of spacing for all of the fans. I spaced them like this just because I thought it looked better and used up the space more efficiently. Although, because I knew from the start I wasn't going to be water cooling it, I didn't do the spacing right so you can add a rad. <laughs> I thought we were boned, but we're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Do you think it's fine, Brandon? It seems fine. Okay. Do you have confidence in I have mild confidence. There's certainly a reason that we are pre-building this entire thing before we send it off to get powder coated. I think the fan needs to go on the other side. Oh, oh, all right. The amount of clearance that we have is frankly kind of incredible. It's also incredibly fortunate that uh, our 12 pin power was almost underneath the GPUs. And if that had been the case, I think we would have just been boned. Oh, the fitment on these is so tight. It's the kind of thing where I would never recommend fitting something this tight, but when you have like, you know, a router that's repeatable to a thou, it's pretty awesome to be able to just like friction fit everything. I guess it's GPU time. This is kind of like, this is the moment, Brandon, yeah. <laughs> like, will it just go in? Oh, that was actually not hard at all. <laughs> okay. Looks good. Yeah, does look good. There's the mount. The RGB in this costs more than like the average computer. Now the final bit power supply. All right, if this goes in, we're good. We're totally good. We can have a functioning PC in this case. Well, uh, the power supply fits. It was pretty dirty. Um, so I had to use these slightly longer screws to pull it in <laughs> uh, to position because this cooler is slightly larger than the cooler that I intended to put on it. So they are touching. Barely. So it, it, it like fits. It doesn't fit perfectly. Could not be closer, but it does fit. 
So we've got this piano hinge in here that nicely flips up to show you the rear IO, but it's going to be kept in place using magnets. So let's just install those nice and quick. It requires taking this off. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's not making it on a satisfying feels list. But anyway, here she is, the Pyramid PC in all of its, I guess, glory. It might not be amazing to build in, but at the end of the day, there's literally nothing like it. Now, you guys might have seen, I've well, you've definitely sent me it many times, the Aza, Aza, whatever pyramid. There's a couple things that, you know, this does that that does not. For one, we've got our freaking GPUs. We also have the 51 and a half degree slant to this, which is exactly what you need if you are the Illuminati. You know, the other one, it's a bit too tall. The overloads would not be happy. But anyway, I think it looks friggin' sweet. And if nothing else, it looks like, well, nothing else on the market. Like, holy crap, look at those GPUs. They're just, they're beautiful. Just like the segue to our sponsor. I have no clue who it is. Thanks to Vessi for sponsoring today's video. Vessi footwear is known for being water resistant, lightweight, and breathable. Their dual climate knit material keeps your feet warm during the winter and cool during the summer, and they fit almost any occasion. They're 100% vegan, and you can even get $25 off each pair of shoes using our code Linus Tech Tips at checkout. So check them out at vessifootwear.com slash Linus Tech Tips. Holy crap, that, that was an adventure. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to watch another video, um, watch the one on the Camino RM. That thing was insane and uses these PCIe extenders in a much more logical way than we did here. Have a great day. See you later.